Hello everybody, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements playing with some of the higher level effects in the program. Now, if you played with the program at all, you know that if you go over here and click on the effects button on the toolbar on the right, you'll find that Premiere Elements has a large library here of interesting effects, but you don't need to use any of the effects right out of the box. Using keyframing, you can take your effects to the next level and actually do some pretty cool animation. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click on the little magnifying glass in the upper right of the panel so I can search and I'm going to type the word crop. This is the crop effect. I'll drag it on top of my clip and as you can see it's preset to crop. That's fine with us right now. It's not going to bother us. Let's move our playhead back to the very beginning of the clip. Now I'd like to create an effect where we start with the close up of the door or actually the picture crop down just to show the door. And then I want the crop to move out and reveal the rest of the picture. That's going to be the effect we create using the simple crop. Now with crop, you can make adjustments to the crop by moving the sliders here in the applied effects panel. Or I think it's more intuitive to just select the crop listing here in applied effects. And then you get these little corner handles and you can drag the crop in nice and intuitively. So we're going to start with a close up here, actually more of a crop down to just show the door. And then I'm going to open up the keyframe controller. So I go over to applied effects and I click on the little stopwatch icon in the upper right hand corner that opens up the keyframe controller. But we don't want to work on the keyframe controller for motion. We want to work on the one for crop. So let's select crop down here. And with everything in position here, we're going to click on the toggle animation button to toggle on animation. That's a little stopwatch to the right of the listing for crop in the applied effects panel. There's our initial keyframe representing the current settings for crop. I'm going to move the playhead just a second or so out. And then we're going to make other adjustments. I'm just going to slide these all down to zero. So we reveal our picture completely. And there's our animation. It's going to go from that close up crop to the wide view of the entire picture. Let's move the playhead on the timeline back to the beginning and let's play it and see how our effect looks. Very nice, huh? We created that using an effect right out of the box, but we've used keyframed animation to add some really cool animation to it. Now keyframes are available throughout the program. You can use them to adjust audio levels. You can use them to do all kinds of effects. I want to show you one more effect. Let's trash the crop effect so it doesn't confuse us just by clicking on the trash can here next to the crop listing and applied effects. There we go. We'll close the effects panel. Well, actually, let's make sure we close the keyframe controller and close the effects panel. You can not only apply keyframes and animation to effects, you can also apply them to adjustments. So again, with the clip selected, I'm going up here to the top of the toolbar on the right, selecting adjustments, and I'm going to select color. You notice one of the options under color is saturation. So I can take this picture and have it transition from black and white to color. So that said, let's open up the keyframe controller. Once again, it's located in the upper right of the adjustments panel, just as it was in applied effects. And we click it and it opens up and I'm going to leave the playhead where it is right now. This is where I want it to transition to full color. So let's toggle on animation by clicking on the little stopwatch to the right of the color listing. And then I'm going to pull the playhead to the very beginning. And at the very beginning, I'm going to select from the saturation tab, the option to go completely black and white. So there we are. And there's our animation. Now, when we play this, we'll transition from the adjustment of absolutely no color to a color picture. Kind of a cool transition. Let's see when I play it. Slowly goes into color. It'd be really cool if I tinted that just a little bit and made it have a sepia tone, wasn't it? A nice effect for making it appear that we're going from back in time up to present time. But cool effects. There's no limit to what you can do with keyframes. You'll want to explore them. You'll want to get to know them. Like I said, they're used for audio as well as video. You can do a lot of stuff with keyframing. Keyframing is your key to higher power and to doing real high level special effects. Now, if you want to know more about all the hidden tools in this program, check out the many tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. If you want to know every single thing there is to know about Premiere Elements, be sure and check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. That's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve. I'm the guy who wrote the book and I hope I see you again real soon. Take care.